Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see how you can set up a Python interpreter on your PyCharm IDE. So if you do not know what a PyCharm IDE is, then uh, I have provided the link to download the IDE so that you can also download it into your system. But before downloading, you need to understand that PyCharm is much heavier than a Visual Studio Code. And hence, if you want to download it, then please be aware that you might have to check your computer RAM as well as the available displays and your processor. Uh, I would suggest you to use PyCharm only if you're going to start developing in Python like a professional. So if you just want to get started with the smaller programs then it's better to just stick with the visual studio code but in case you want to take python programming as a professional career option then i would suggest you to go ahead with pycharm community edition and i have provided the link below in this video for you to download it now in this video we will see how you can actually set up the pycharm interpreter for your next python project initially we will see how you can set it up for a new python project and then we will also see how you can set up uh, your interpreter for an existing project so let's see how you can do it for a new project so inside the file you have the option of new project and when you click that you will see a new dialog that pops up and within this dialog you have an option here which says project interpreter so under this you can see that the default option is a new environment using virtual env so we will keep it just like this and i will try to create a new project named as test project probably but i want to create it inside a folder called maybe test so test slash test underscore project and you can see that the option which I have kept checked is the new environment using virtual env and if you select this you see multiple options but i want to stick to virtual environment here and i think that's all so if you just create then it will create the new project for you as well as it will also initiate the virtual environment creation which you can use in your newly created project so we have to wait for some minutes for PyCharm to create the virtual environment and then only we will be able to use it. After waiting for about 30 seconds, you can now see that my project is created. And if I expand the project, you can also see that there is a new folder called VENV. So if you are not able to see my screen properly, please make sure that you are watching this video on a computer screen because on a mobile device, uh, this text is going to be really small here and you won't be able to see my screen. So I would suggest you to watch all of my videos on a computer screen while you are in front of your computer and trying my program along with me. Okay, so here you can see that there is a folder called VENV and this is basically our virtual environment. So inside this VENV, as we know, there is a scripts folder since it's my Windows system. Inside the scripts folder, we have the activate and Python, everything. Now the PyCharm knows that this is my virtual environment and whenever I want to run a terminal here, so if I click the terminal, it will automatically install and initiate my virtual environment so that I can perform any of the Python commands within this virtual environment. So I can just do a PIP freeze maybe and I can see all the requirements or all the already installed PIP packages within my virtual environment. So I will type PIP list here and you can see that there is only two packages that is currently installed in my virtual environment and these are PIP and setup tools. So this is a really fresh installation of a virtual environment on my newly created project. And this has already completed our PyCharm interpreter setup for a newly created project. Now we will see how we can create or set up the interpreter for an existing project where we do not have a virtual environment already set up in PyCharm. So let's see how we can do it. Now we are going to see how you can set up the PyCharm interpreter for an existing Python project. So for that we will go to the file menu and then click the open. So inside the open we will select the folder which contains your existing project. So in my case it's the test folder and if I select this and click OK then it asks me whether you want to open this new project in the same window or in a new window. So I will just click this window which means it opens in the same window. So you can see that my project folder is opened and it also shows the contents of the folder. But now the interpreter is not set up in PyCharm. So how do you know that whether it's set up or not? So if you just click the terminal then you can see that it just shows you the path of the project 
but not the virtual environment. So if the interpreter was already set up, then it would show the VENV or ENV uh, as an appended text here before the C drive here. So since it's not available, that means uh, the interpreter is not already set up for this project. So let's see how we can set it up. For that, I have to go to the file menu. So inside the file menu, we have the settings option. When I click the settings option, I should see a new window which shows me the different settings available on PyCharm. And now if you look a little below on all these options, you will see an option called project then the name of your project. So in my case, it's project and test. So if I click this, then there will be two options, project interpreter and project structure. So if I click the project interpreter, then I am provided with some options here. So this is my global Python installation, which shows all the modules which are installed on my system. But I do not want to use this installation because it will obviously mess up all the dependencies which are used in one project with the dependencies used in another project. So the best way to do is click on this gear icon and then click add. So when you click the add button, you will see another pop up. So within this pop up, you get a similar option just like what you got when you created a new project. So in this you get the option of new environment or to use an existing environment. So we will go by the default option which is new environment. So in the new environment you have to provide the path of the uh, project. So in this case our path is already pre-selected. Inside that it also automatically creates the folder or the name of the virtual environment. So by default it's venv and I will keep it as it is. And it also asks you which base interpreter you would like to use. So this is my global Python installation, which is Python 3.6. And hence it is going to use the same interpreter for my newly created virtual environment. So I will keep all of these options as it is and I will just click OK. And once I click the OK button, it starts creating the virtual environment for my existing project, which I have opened in PyCharm. So we have to wait for a couple of seconds so that PyCharm creates this virtual environment for us in the background. You can also see that it is installing the various dependencies required for running the virtual environment. And now you can see that my dialog shows me the newly created virtual environment, which is set up for this particular project. And you can also see the various dependencies which are installed. So by default, it installs the PIP as well as setup tools. And if I click OK, then everything is set up and now I can use my virtual environment. So how you test it, whether the virtual environment is created properly or not. For that, you have to close this terminal and then click the terminal once again. And now you can see that VENV is added before your command prompt which means your virtual environment is successfully created and activated when you click uh, your terminal. Now you can type any command here, for example, uh, PIP, maybe list. So PIP list will show you all the packages that are installed into your virtual environment. So here you can see that only PIP and setup tools are installed, which is as expected. Now you can install all the dependencies which are required for running your existing project. I hope this is really clear to you and if you have any questions, please do not forget to comment below this video and I will try to solve your issues as soon as possible. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please click the like button and maybe share it with your friends. So if you're new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you get notified once I upload my next video on Python programming and tutorial for beginners. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for your time. Take care and bye.